So um, we will start with a prayer in a minute. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this morning. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us. We know that you are here. We know that you're within us. And you're guiding us. Every word that we speak is to glorify our Lord. Without you, Holy Spirit, we are nothing. We can't do this. Control this day, my tongue my work of God, my thinking. Anything that is not from God, I bind it in the name of Jesus and I cast it out. Any voice that come above God's voice, I cast it out right now in the name of Jesus. We only listen to the word of the Holy Spirit speaking to us. We open our hearts, we surrender. We will enlighten our life we surrender everything to you, Lord, now as we come into your presence, because this is all of you, nothing of us. We thank you for today. Guide us, Holy Spirit, as we learn today. Be our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. So if we could... Uh, see the in Luke. Let's go straight to the scripture. Sorry, we go to Mark, yeah? Mark 12, 29 to 3. 29 to? 3. Hello. You said Mark 12. chapter 12? Yeah, Mark chapter 12. Yes. 29 to 3. 29 to what? Three. Uh, sorry. 29 to 31. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. Read Richma. Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment and the second like it is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. It is good. Praise God. Yes. So in this uh, commandment, this commandment is the greatest commandment for which we live in obedience to. First, to love our Lord God with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our soul. And then the second is to love others. Now, because Jesus said that this is the greatest commandment of everything, this is the first, it covers the whole Ten Commandments also, right? Mm -hmm. because this commandment is for everyone. So this is the word of God. And so in obedience as children of God, we have to take this very seriously account on our everyday life. And um, we will take this commandment and we will look at the Our Father 
and we will go through our prayer following this commandment, okay? So if we go down to the Our Father in Luke, you got the scripture there for you, for me? I gave you earlier. Okay. It's Luke uh, 11, 11, chapter 11. Yeah, verse 2. Yeah. Let's go to verse, verse 3 two. to 4. Yeah. Let's go to, yeah, 3 to 4. Shall I read? Yes. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our no, sins. We, we, we don't have two there. Oh. Starting from two? Two, yes. Two. Okay, so, so the first, yeah. if, before we read, if you pay attention to this uh, prayer, which Jesus taught the apostles to pray. So we are going into uh, how to pray, what to pray, when to pray, and things like that. So now Jesus is uh, teaching this to the apostles, how to pray. Okay, they said, teach us how to pray. And if you look at this prayer which Jesus has given, it, it is the same as in Mark, the commandment. Because the first part of it is all about God, of how we praise and love God, and how we acknowledge his kingdom, his will. It's all about God. And if you see the second part of the prayer, it's all about us. It's not about me. It's not about what I want. It's give us this day. Forgive us. Okay? It's all about us. It's not an I prayer. Mm. So don't misunderstand. When you are praying this, it's all about me. Give me today. All right? My bread. Give me, forgive me my sins. No, forgive us our sins. So what I'm going to do is we're first going to go on depth on the first part of it is the, the Our Father, uh, the top bit. We are not going to go down to the us bit yet, okay? Let's take the first commandment, which is love your, uh, love your God with all your heart, with all your soul. Okay, we are going to take that first and we'll learn on that part today. And then the next week, we will go on the second part, which is love your neighbor as yourself, which is the us prayer. Okay, hmm. so if you recognize God, um, Jesus, he also, that is his father, but he didn't say my father in heaven. He said our father. Do you notice that? Yes. yes. Yeah. So if you pay attention, even Jesus, he could have said, this is my father in heaven, okay? But he said, our father, which means he's already talking about uh, we are no more orphans. We are children of God. So when you come to the father do, with your mindset in your mind, don't be an orphan, okay? Be a child of God. You must come with that attitude when you pray this prayer. So you're coming to the Father in an open mind, like you're coming to your original Father. If you have somebody that you can trust and go to uh, in this world, you're coming to the Father in heaven in that kind of uh, posture, in this trust in this uh, ability to say, you know, Father, you know, like our Father, you know, Father, you know, today, okay? So you are going in that posture. Do you get me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. So it's very important. So let's, let's read it first. Uh, the first bit, which is only until 
um, your will be done. Okay, because okay. after that it goes uh, on earth as it is in heaven. Because after that it goes to give us. So the mm -hmm. us part from the give us part, we will do it next week. Now we are going to only conquer word by word the top bit. So let's, um, if somebody could read the first bit. Our Father in heaven. Okay, now, how, what posture, what mindset are you thinking when you say that? Do you want to acknowledge? Anybody have any question on that? No. no. I'm looking at the Father with my heart open. Okay, good. With my eyes up, you know. Mm -hmm. And with that heart that, yes, you are a mighty father. You are in heaven. When, before I came to the word, before I came, I had this huge relationship with God. Before I knew God as my, I, I, I knew him as my savior because of going to church. Mm. But I never had this close relationship. Okay, so I'm just going to share a little bit on that. Before I knew that, the Our Father didn't mean anything to me because I come from a broken family and I didn't have a very close relationship with my father. So it was just words hmm. I used to say because we say it in church, we say it in our rosary, we say it like that. It didn't really um, mean that much like how I do it now. Hmm. Okay. And Second thing was, I was scared because I was in this illusion that uh, he's angry with me if I do mistakes, if I sin and all those mm -hmm. things. So I was having that kind of unfruitful uh, um, understanding of uh, the teaching, okay? But once I knew that this is a father who wants a relationship with me and it's a close relationship then my perspective of the word our father changed yes. each time i say it see each time now when i say it it's no more in fear it's no more that he's going to judge me it's no more like oh my goodness you know what did you do yesterday you know what did you do like that it's no more like that it's like an open arm like how you said maria okay mm. Mm. but last time it was not like that for me yeah yeah it was a very scary thing for me to come to the father i was like oh wow you know i must be holy i must be like this i must be like that because i didn't know understand what relationship with god is and as i go into this our father more deeper and as you all do and if you just say this our father just take time you don't have to rush it just meditate on that father who is in heaven and when you start doing that, you actually um, bring the Lord's name up. Let's go to this. So um, understand this relationship that God, the Father wants from the beginning of time, from the creation of Adam and Eve to the end. When uh, we end, even if you end Revelation, it's a new world. It's a new creation where the Lord dwells with us. That means we are together as um, a family, a huge family. Yes, in a relationship. So the first sentence there is mainly based on a relationship. Okay. Mm. Now the second one is "Hello, be your name." Now "Hello, be your name" is is so important in our daily life why is we because of the fall of the sin of um, adam and eve even though um, the lord has taken everything and cancelled everything we have a tendency to be prideful we have a tendency to be selfish we have a tendency to to be um, um, what you call it like me first hmm. okay uh, if somebody says something, we can get 
offended, we can get upset, we can get, it can move our feelings, we can start, okay? So that is there in our daily. So this is a daily prayer. So what we are doing is we hallowing the name of the Lord, meaning we are saying, Lord, you are above all that. You're above, your name is above everything, the, every, every living thing, every creature, everything is above. See, you cannot praise God if you're, if you're a very um, proudful person. You'll find it hard to praise yeah. God. Yes. Because you're putting somebody else mm. above you. Mm. Mm. So this one actually brings you alignment to stop being... Uh, self you know know it all i know my way you know my way is greater you know mm. i know how to do things i know that but this now you're acknowledging god to be higher above which mm -hmm. makes you a humble person praise god a lot of times people don't um praise god in the way he's meant to be praised because um, we are not grateful. Mm. We are very uh, ungrateful people. What we do is we take it for granted, like the bread today, the rock of life, uh, the, uh, the ruah, they, they call it in, in Hebrew, the breath of God is in you. Today, mm. as I breathe, it's the breath of God. Mm. And when, when I die, my expire, my breath is no more, but it goes, my spirit goes to the Lord. Now, listen, the fact that you wake up, this, this is a daily, daily prayer. The fact that you wake up in the morning and you have the breath of life is already, that breath is from God. So if you're not thankful for that, you are going to be, you know, like our children, sometimes parents, we give, 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 and they are they they hardly say thank you. I remember my children when they were young, um, like you cook for them and put everything on the table. They just take it for granted that it is the mom's work to cook and put it there. Mm. But once they started to be thankful, they said to me, "Thanks, mom, for dinner. Thanks, mom, for lunch." You know, it makes me feel like wow. I want to do more for them. Mm. Okay? So, now listen. As we grow in, we are hallowing the Lord. That means we are acknowledging and being thankful for what he has given us. Now, just think of, when you have this in your daily prayer, you're talking to the Father, okay? And you're saying, Father, Wow, the trees that you have made, the, the breath of life that you have given me, your son who has you have sacrificed for me, Jesus, you know, for finishing the work on the cross. You are hallowing his name. And can I, uh, the name of God is so, uh, there's so many names. If you have the slide, if you can just put that on of all the names. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just go into that very quickly. I won't go into everything. There's a lot. Throughout the Bible, there's many names that God has uh, represented. Okay? And in each situation, if you look at it, there's a scripture. And in each situation, the name of God came to certain people at certain time in their life. It was all different names, okay? I don't know if you all can see. I don't know whether we can make it bigger. Um, so at each situation, it's different. So say you're having um, financial problem, okay? So whose name are you going to hello? So if you look at here, they said, you are my provider, Lord, the Lord will provide. You see that in Genesis 22? Yahweh. Okay, I won't say. Mm, Yahweh. Yeah. The Lord will provide. So 
when you're going through this crisis, say in the morning, your mind is worried. And you say, Father, our Father, your name is holy, holier than any other. Your name is a provider. You provide. From the beginning of time, you provide for us everything, every need. So do you see what I'm trying to say? This is his mm -hmm. name. This is all his names. And if you are going into uh, a situation where you need healing, the Lord who healed, he's in Exodus 13, 15, 6, he is the Lord who healed. So bring up, hello, that name of the Lord who healed, okay? Bring it into your daily prayer. So you can take these as some reference on how the name of God is handled. That means it's lifted up above all the situation in your life. It's lifted up above everything that you're going through. Say pro uh, problems on that day. So he's the master, okay? You are the Lord and, my, and master above everything. Holy is your name, okay? Hmm. All right, let's go back to the um, look two. Any questions up to here? Anything you don't uh, understand? Understood, sister. Only thing I just want to because as you have explained this, you know, the hallowed be your name. Uh, because you have beautifully explained that, you know, the revelation. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, as you were explaining that, because I just, you know, um, uh, started visualizing what happens when we go to the pride or when we get angry or when, you know, we say my way. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely we cannot praise God that moment when mm -hmm. we are in that I, I moment. Yes. Because, mm -hmm. and that's that that's a point we have to realize it that we have to humble ourselves no matter what and then only we'll able to you know glorify our father even that thank you jesus will not come when we are angry or you know when we are in that self mode because i just started utilizing when we were uh, uh explaining that point like you no know, the second line hello be your name it is very very true sister because when we are angry, we are like you no know, self. We are we are all about ourselves. We are just focusing on ourselves. Yes. And the minute we humble, the minute we realize this is not uh, from the God, and we, this is from the enemy, and only will able to you know say thank you Jesus or praise you Jesus or uh, Jesus uh, like you know will able to take the name of our God. And we'll be able to praise our Heavenly Father. Praise God. True. Yes. Thank very you. true. Thank so you. if you if you look at it, when a person um I I've seen okay from experience, those days when people used to praise the Lord, you know, I will say praise God, but actually do I mean it? No. You know, I'm just saying it. Yeah. But what am I praising? What of God am I really saying? You know, is this, remember, this is a relationship. You're talking to the Father. And what are you praising him for? Only the good things? No, the scripture. If you see Psalms, if you have time, read Psalm 135. Or all the Psalms. They start off with glorifying the Lord. Mm. You know, praising his holy name. And if you look throughout the Bible from the beginning of Genesis to anywhere, all the Abraham, say everyone, even Paul, in, in the prison, he was praising uh, yeah. in prison. And what happened? The, the, the prison doors opened. Okay? Yeah. And yeah. you see, when we put God above the situation 
whatever you're going to go. See, this is a, a very good prayer to do it in the morning. Why? Whatever you're going to go through, he's hello, he's already above it. See, you do not know what is going to happen throughout the whole day. Now you're saying, Father, you are above the whole day today, whatever situation. Above. Okay? So he, now you're praising him to be the God who is going to rule and reign over the whole day in your life. And it is his will and not your will. Okay? We'll come to the second one of the kingdom but let's look at hello because it's so important to really praise the lord sometimes we say praise jesus and actually sometimes you don't even mean that i don't know whether you sometimes i catch myself why am i praising am i praising jesus because he's going to edify every word i'm saying to this sister now as i speak to the sister or am i praising uh, Jesus, because um, he has given me the opportunity to talk to the sister now. Because sometimes when we meet somebody, we say, praise Jesus, sister. Mm. And then we start to talk, right? Yep. Now, yep. are we conscious at that time that we are praising Jesus in every word that we speak to the sister? And that Jesus has given us this opportunity to meet the sister or whoever it is and to have a conversation. And Jesus is being praised in that conversation. Do you see how important it is? Mm. So now when you bring, when you say praise Jesus, make sure you are aligning your words in proper and not murmuring or gossiping. <laughs> okay. Praise Jesus. So I'm going in detail. I'm going on the micro. Now let's just say words, okay? Now words are important, isn't it? Yes. We all know that. So like when we say hello, when we are saying praise Jesus, I have, I know Sister Jocelyn, that even a cup of water when she receives, she will say, thank you, Jesus. And in scripture, it says, there is a scripture that uh, it says, in everything, we thank God. She's so conscious of Jesus in her life that every little thing, I'm just talking about the breath you breathe every day. You're thankful. Your family, later we'll go on the family bit, okay? But let's just say you and God relationship now. Now we are talking about you and God relationship, all right? So I'm sticking on the hello be your name because it is so, so important for us to put God above every situation in our life. And we not being, um, I know it all. I, uh, I, you know, I, I, you know, you don't understand. I'm going through this. Uh, I, 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 but this is God first. You're holding him above every situation. He's the creator. He, he created you. He gave breath to you. You are in relationship with you because of Jesus. On the cross, now you are no more an orphan. You are a child of God. And that is why Jesus gave you our father. And he didn't say, this is my father in heaven. He's including you, okay? So we are clear on the first two, yeah? Should I yeah. move on? Yes, maybe. Okay. Your kingdom come. So when you see the first word is king, a king who rules over everything in this world, okay? In We are no more children of this world. We are we have a king and his name is Jesus. Okay, so his kingdom has, that's what Jesus said, your kingdom come. That means the father's kingdom, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the kingdom is here on in us. The Holy Spirit is in us. 
Let me just read you a few things what the kingdom is all about. Okay, the king has arrived. The king is the head who comes, who came to earth. The king has established, is established in the earth as the person of Jesus Christ. The king lives in our hearts and in his people. The kingdom is, um, is not a place. Okay, the kingdom is not a place. Yeah, a kingdom is God, is a God, a people directly into a relationship with God. Okay, and he is, uh, and his role is above his sovereign, his over every governor, everything that is going on in this world. So when we say your kingdom come, we are speaking with our mouth. We are saying, God, your kingdom is above this situation right now. You know, say whatever it is. I'll show you how we pray later on your kingdom come. Okay. As we go into that, deeper into the kingdom. And then his will be done because a king's, it's more like, you know, you are like, uh, you say you're a, as a child of God in his kingdom, you go to the king and the king give you a decree and say, look, do this, 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 this today. And today, this, 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 in obedience, you got to do. And you say, Lord, whatever your word says, I will follow. Today, I'm obedient to your word because you are my king. You know, when you acknowledge your king and he's the king, you will follow whatever decree he says, whatever word he says, whatever uh, the Holy Spirit uh, tells you to do, you do it in obedience. That's your, the kingdom is coming into life. And you, when you walk in, you're the light. You're bringing the kingdom's light it's into gone. the situation. You're bringing, you're the salt of the earth. That means you're bringing the salt into yeah. people's life. You're giving him them. Uh, the taste of salt. Yes. The, 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 the uh, a solution to the problem. Sometimes yeah. not the solution to the problem, but maybe you're bringing, when you say a solution to the problem, you're bringing God's kingdom into that problem. When you yes. bring light into the darkness, you're bringing uh, the kingdom into that situation. Do you understand? Yeah, and when you said salt, that makes sense, Mary, you know, because salt yeah. without that salty taste is useless. Yes. But without the saltiness, because yes. yes, you bring that thing into the kingdom of God. Yes. So when you're praying daily, what you're going to see, your kingdom comes. So you are the yes. light, you're the salt. So that means when you go, okay, say uh, somebody is having a problem, like Maria, you deal with a lot of people who has problem, they come to you. When you speak the word of God, you're bringing God's kingdom into that person. Into life. them, yes. Praise God, yes. Thank okay. You. So now your kingdom come. That means you're bringing the, the, the that is the light. salt. Okay? Yeah. That's the light. That's the salt you're bringing into that. That is your bringing kingdom. Now you are made, when you are having this relationship with the Father, the Father gives you, the Holy Spirit gives you the anointing to be Amen. that kingdom. Yes, praise God. Okay, and then it comes to your will be done. So your will meaning obedience, yeah, because the king decrees his words is in obedience. So now, are you obedient when you are put on that day? Maybe somebody says something bad about you and you heard it. Now you're obedient. Are you obedient to his word, his decree, which says forgive? Are you obedient? You're doing his will. See, always, when if you want to see the, your will be done, always look at Jesus. What did Jesus always say? I do my father's work. Mm. And even in Gethsemane, he said, your will, not mine. Mm. 
So this is very important also because we always like to put our will first. Okay. Now when God says, don't go there, and the Holy Spirit is prompting you, don't go there. Now when we have this really good relationship, like you were I was just now sharing about um, this friend who went to India. Yes. Now what happened is because she has this relationship and she followed in obedience to India, she got to see her father before he, he went on. Oh, God. To the, yeah. See, so when you say obedient to the father, you are really, really meaning that you're going to follow his will and his word. And so when we pray, we are going to pray like this. Father, in, in any situation, if I do not follow your will, uh, Holy Spirit, align me back. Bring me back. Make me conscious. Bring me back. So yes. this is how we are going to pray. When we put it into prayer later. But I won't pray now. Like now I'm just going to go into line by line. Okay? Hmm. So we are going to pray like this. We're going to say, Holy Spirit, you know, you all will be done. He said, you know, I do not know what is about to happen. Okay? I, I, am, I know, Father, that I want to follow your will. And whenever uh, your will, you know, if I'm going out of your will, if I'm going against your will, if I am um, not of following your will in any way, align me, Holy Spirit, back, push me back, that I may follow your will today and I will be obedient to your word. So this is how we pray every day. We kind of bring it back into reality, thinking, you know, throughout the day, you might forget, you might stumble, you might fall, whatever. But the Holy Spirit is there to bring you back into alignment to the will of God. And if every day you start to follow in obedience the will of God, you, your relationship with God, your um, voice that you hear of God will become more and more and more. You will start to be very clear like, you know, my shepherd knows my voice. I mean, the my sheep knows my voice, the shepherd says, and mm. follow me. So you will know the voice. You will understand, you will know, you will follow. Get it? Yes. It's a real, real revelation. And uh, how am I doing with time, Maria? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay, yeah. good. okay. so tell me if I'm going out of track okay <laughs> is everybody first. understanding do you all have any questions can you please talk and share we have to make this really personal because this is the foundation of everything that's happening in our life so do you all want to share my dear sisters it's beautiful Maria. it's beautiful okay. sister it's going <laughs> mary it's you going. have anything mary Yes, um, sister, I'm listening to it um, and I'm trying to follow it actually. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, yes, yes. It's Any beautiful. Just ask, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. It's very deep actually, yes. Please. Yes, that's exactly, I think. So I'm trying very hard to get the um, meaning of... Yes. Um, yes, okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. So, so all you have to do is now... All this while, we ask people to pray and we ask things to happen. Now, what we are doing this, if you could um, be obedient and be, uh, what I'm saying is to be prayerful. Uh, I'm also, sometimes I get, you know, get carried away early morning, wake up, go and do something. But if you could set your mind in doing a journal, and saying the Our Father, and as you grow, you will grow more deeper in prayer. So when you start to say the Our Father, He will give you more. The Holy Spirit will give you more revelation, more understanding, more deeper into situation because everybody is different. As you saw in the in the previous uh, when we saw in the in the name of uh, the name of Jesus, uh, I mean the name of God. 
as you saw, every time he appeared to Moses, be Elijah, be whoever, it was always a different name according to the situation of their life. Okay? Yes. According to whatever time they were going through, whatever situation, be it, you know, they were fearful, be it uh, whatever situation they were going through, uh, be it lonely, be it whatever, he came with a different name all the time. So I do not know what you're going through. And my life will be different than what my, my prayer will be different. But this prayer is the foundation where you start to pray uh, and build up this relationship with the Father, your Father in heaven. See, when you start to praise him and hallow him and give him and know that his kingdom and be trustful in you are trusting his kingdom and trusting in his decree, his word to you and you're obedient, this first paragraph, this first commandment, love your God as yourself, I mean, with all your heart and all your uh, mind, this first commandment, and there'll be no other God, this first commandment will be established in your life. Because this first commandment is so important because as you go on in your day, you're going to hear a lot of things. You know, when I was young and I used to watch Michael Jackson, I used to even cut my hair like him, you know, or Jenna Jackson. <laughs> you know, I used to follow completely. So I'm not drifted away from other things throughout this day. I'm aligning my thoughts, my mind into um, uh, my God, my father, who has is the king, who has given me his word to be obedient with, all right? And so I'm aligning every situation like that. And when we pray that, you will see in your life, you will start finding it easier to live and letting go a uh, situation that are so complicated or so dramatic. Praise you don't need it. Pray Jesus. <laughs> okay. Mary, can you make a small prayer like in regards to this, you know, like how you did that day? Oh, okay. So uh, just for the first paragraph, okay? Yeah. Okay. So let's all focus. Let's all pray with her. Uh, uh, sister, yeah. uh, up, up to where you have finished, you, you have done with uh, your kingdom come, right? Yeah, your kingdom come, your will be done. Okay. Uh, uh, because shall we stop uh, up to here and then continue next week? Because you can summarize this stuff because uh, because there's so much to learn. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what she's doing. Yes. Yeah, there's so much to learn because yeah. it's so much for you to meditate on. I mean, yeah. not meditate, to think about, you know, what are the words you're saying? Yeah. Exactly. So now she's showing us how we can practice that wish. Okay. The last line, you, uh, did you finish, sister, on earth? As it is in heaven? Uh, no. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I will come okay, okay. on that. Okay. 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 Because his kingdom uh, come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. So now, if I'm going to go into that, okay, Maria, maybe I will do the prayer next week or how? Because yeah. Let's see whether we have time because I'm just going to go on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. When you say on earth as it is in heaven, you're going to bring the unseen into seen. Mm. So you're bringing heaven into earth. Yeah? Mm. On earth. That means you, you all have listened to uh, preaching from brother and, and uh, from JCLM on the unseen to the mm. seen. Yeah. Okay? Got it. So, yes. it requires, so this is where it happens. This is what it's happened on earth as it is in heaven. So what is unseen, you're bringing it in, into Seen. this world. Praise God, yes. On the seen world. Okay? Yeah. So this is how we are going to pray. And when we pray this prayer, we, every, like I said, every it's very personal. Everyone is different what you will be praying. So my prayer will be different than yours. 
mm. and what I'm going through in my life. Mm. Okay, so and uh, as as you go on, because like I said before, give us this day our daily bread. From us onwards, it's all us. That means our family, our children, our whoever is in your family, whoever you're praying for. Okay? Yeah. So we are praying on earth as it is in heaven. So we are calling the unseen into our uh, family, into our children, salvation, everything, the unseen into earth. I mean, into their life. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. So that that on earth as in heaven is quite deep also, and uh, we need to go through it. But just to a very summarized, very uh, short prayer for today, until your will be done, maybe we can do that together. Okay. Anybody? Maria, you want to do it? Okay. Try? But you're doing it better, Mary. Maria. <laughs> Okay. Relationship. I, remember mm -hmm. relationship. Okay, I can do it. Yes. When you're yes. doing this, remember it's a yes. relationship and you're talking to the father, your father. Very mm -hmm. Okay, you can you add okay in between. Yeah. Okay. Our father. My Abba Father. Mm -hmm. My creator. My Lord. My heavenly father. You are my creator. Abba, you are in heaven. My Abba, I want to be close to you at this very moment. Yes, I come into your presence, Father. Right now, we come into your presence. Because you are our Father. And you know everything from the beginning of time from the time I'm created to now. You chose me. I'm not an orphan anymore. You chose me to be your child. Hello be your name. Your name is above every other name in my life. Your name is holy. They call the angels who praise your holy name. I too praise your holy name. Lord, I praise you night and day. Let, me, let this praise be in my mouth throughout this day. Mm -hmm. Let me not fail to praise you in every situation. I praise your holy name. You are the creator every day. In scripture it says, every breath that you have given me, everything that lives, every animal, every creation, praise your holy name. And worthily so, for you are our creator. Praise God. Your kingdom come. Lord, you are our king. King who rules over our life. King, I would remember you today the whole day. And you are king about every decision I make, every situation I go through, everything that I do. You rule over everything that I think today. Holy Spirit, help me. When I go out of track, when I don't align myself with the word of God or the will of God, bring me back. Bring me back to be obedient children of God. Lord, your kingdom rules over everything that is in this earth. Everything be it poverty, be it anything that I'm going to go through today, Lord. The words that I speak to my friends, to my family, to my children, 
made words that will edify them, will give them hope, made words that will lift them up, encourage them. When I speak to my husband in any situation, I will praise your holy name because as I praise you, Lord, I know the atmosphere of our house will change. We bring your kingdom at that moment into this house. In every situation, if I'm irritated, Lord, that will be cast away. As I praise you, because situation will change at that moment. As we bring your kingdom into this atmosphere where I am, there is also the Holy Spirit, there is also you, there is also Jesus. There is also the light. Help me understand and be strong and trusting in this light that you have given me. Just a small summary then. But honestly, because you are online and because um, we are on Zoom, I can cannot go deeper like how my relationship with him in private is. You understand? What do you mean? I mean like now I'm in Zoom. Now I'm in a situation where we are learning. Okay, yeah, I get it. So when you have personal problem. Yeah, when can... I'm in personal with the father, when I'm in my private room or when I am praying this in in a relationship mode with just yeah. it's quite completely different. Okay, praise God. Do you understand? Yeah. So I'm just uh, giving you uh, not really deep, like how you heard me last time, right? Yes, yeah. Because this is, uh, we are just taking out the, the juice of, yes, yeah. of the word and how to go about it. Yeah, but, with practice you go, you get extensive, you go deep. Exactly, exactly. Praise God, yes, yes. Keep, please do keep a journal. Yes. Please yes. try to be uh, faithful to your journal. Please Praise try God. to see the Our Father. And you will see as you um, grow, as you say this, you will grow more. Praise God. And I want to highlight one more thing before we end. is. I don't know about you, but when I, I need to say this because when I was last time, and when we used, uh, when I said those days before I had this really relationship now, like how I have with God, I didn't know. I used to think, why God wants us to praise Him all the time? You know, why is He not, um, is He like, you know, uh, don't praise know, God. Then, you know, <laughs> Yeah, why he's like crazy for us to praise him, praise him. And in the Psalms, everybody's praising him and everything. Now, actually, if you think about praising, it's not for God. It's actually for us. Praise God. It is actually for us. Why is it for us? It's because when you put him above everything, you are saying, without you, I have nothing. I cannot do this. So you're praising him. You know, Job, when Job was saying, oh, pity me, you know, like all mm -hmm. my family is there, da, 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 da. God didn't come and say, Job, I'm going to restore you everything. But God said, do you know how big, you know, you're talking to your problems and you're saying, do you know how big my God is? This is praise. Mm -hmm. You're acknowledging that even in that situation, even in that sickness, even in that, that my God is greater. That's why you're praising him. You're talking, you're, as you speak, you're talking to the universe, you're talking to your problems, you're talking to your sickness, you're talking to your, um, you know, uh, financial, you're talking, yeah, hello to your name, you're praising the Lord above that. Praise God, yes. And when you start to praise God, 
you try this, okay? If an atmosphere where there is, um, say, I don't know, I'll bring up husband and wife, we, we quarrel, we get irritated or angry, okay? That's a common thing. Yeah, and the atmosphere is like, oh, so heavy, right? Yes, yeah. So heavy, so hurtful, so this, so that. At that time, when you praise God, the atmosphere, even with your children, even with your husband, everything will change when you start to praise God. Because what you're doing is you're bringing kingdom mm. heaven into earth at that time when you yes. start praising. You're bringing the unseen of the peace of God that surpasses all understanding into yes. the situation. Oh, I've tried it many times. I have quarrels with my children and they don't understand me and and all this thing, and then I start to just praise and go in tongues, and I praise the Lord, and atmosphere change. Situation, they can be far away, but still it'll change. It'll change. Let me tell them what happened when we both met, and we, you know, from nowhere, this conversation came, and uh, we were we were talking about this, and... Uh, Mary just started with our father and the way she said it, the way it, it was a casual conversation from our casual conversation, we went, we brought our father in there and it really remained in my heart. And I've been thinking of it. How did she do that? That was so beautiful. So then we continued, but you know, that our father from my side stopped there. It didn't go. So now we met up again and I said, Mary, you are chosen to bring that our father into every sister. We'll expand this father's love. And it really, my dear sisters, remained deep in my heart the way she did it. The way she, she brought the father in, in that situation. In Among us, the, the two of us were having coffee. You know, in that situation when the father came, it was just so beautiful. And that's how we brought this into being. You know, we, let's have some prayer. Let's have, now when we introduce this, can you imagine where you're going to go? How you're going to grow the knowledge and understanding of our father's love? So, yeah, praise God. And yes, and we didn't happen to invite many people, but we'll do it next time. Yeah. We will do it next time. Yes. Um, and the next time we come, I will. we will go through a little bit on the first part of the relationship with Father and uh, hallowing his name. Remember, in, in, that, uh, in that slide that we put on, you remember God's name. It's Elohim. You know, there's so many. You can always Google that name of the Lord. And in every situation, you can bring his name to that. And that's how he introduced himself in, you know, I'm your provider. I'm your healer. I'm your, you know, mm. and everybody in, in, in the scriptures took God on that time of their life. God. So yeah. bring God in personal into your life. Mm. Not just go whiz by by not even meaning it. Be in that presence. Be in that loving arms of the Father. You are not an orphan anymore. We are different. We are children of God. Yes, God. Yes. Yeah. So bring the kingdom, okay? Yes. And so the next subject we will go into is, uh, as you know, it's us, not me. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> It's Please. not give me this day of daily bread or give me everything. It's give us. Yes. Forgive us. Yes. It's all about us. Yes. It's following the commandment. Yeah. The first commandment, worship your Lord. The second commandment, um, love others as yourself. Praise God. Yeah, let's make a small prayer and close. Okay. Heavenly Father. Our Father, Almighty Father, my Creator, you are the one who got me, who created me fearfully, wonderfully. And each one of us, everyone you have created uniquely, Father. 
thank you for this very special moment with the Holy Spirit. We had so much love shared. Thank you, Father. Help us to grow in your love. To expand our God, not our problems. To expand your love, not our life. We thank you, we praise you, and we look forward to having a relationship with you every day, every moment, every breath that we take. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. We praise you. We make this prayer in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Thank you sister. Mary, put the thing off. Let's see if they have any.